Right, so still inside of our chatbot store, what we're going to do next is we're going to go into products and we're going to start adding various different products. Right, so as you can see, there's quite a few products already listed here. That's no problem at all. We see the different actions here. So you can duplicate it and you can see the product page, you can edit it or whatever you want to do. But what we're going to do is we're just going to add, right? So there's nothing up here. Take a full look at the page, there's nothing down here. It's simply just an add. So we're going to add a product and I'm going to say um, steak. All right, so we're going to have steak. Um, bum, bum, bum. So we'll put T bone. So we'll put P bone steak. Right, now I think we've already got the T bone steak in here. Now, now, one thing we've got is original price and sell price. So we can completely choose what we want to do. So we can do original price was 225, sell price, and um, we'll do it for 195. All right, and then that's going to show up on the actual thing as well, as well, right? So next you've got to select category. So we want that as favorites, All right? Now then, our attributes. Well, I want chips in there. Um, and for fries, we're gonna say there's no extra charge. For chips, no extra charge. Homemade chips, we're gonna charge an extra one. All right, uh, no extra 10, sorry. Mash, we're gonna charge an extra 15. A big table, we're gonna charge an extra 20. All right. And now we can put the product description in. So, without that, that's the product description. There. Right, there you go. Just click below it. Sorry, I made a cock up there. Right, I shouldn't have put that bit in there. So, you just basically click on to purchase note, and then you put the thumbnail up of what you actually have. Right, now then. You can also put item in stock. So how many items, how many table and steaks has the restaurant in that particular night? This is if you're giving your client to do it as you want to be doing this every night. So we'll say we've got 19. Now, do we want to display the stock, which is going to give people a feeling of urgency to buy it? Um, that's completely up to you on yes or no. It depends on what sort of restaurant. If you're doing a high class restaurant, I would definitely say don't do that. But click the prevent from purchase once it's out of stock. So that nobody's going to be disappointed. Nobody's going to get back on the restaurant again with saying, look, I understand there's no steak, come, blah, blah, blah. Now, what's the actual preparation time on this? Um, so preparation time on this might be 45 minutes, All right? Um, status online, if you've got them in, and is it taxable? Well, I haven't put a taxation in there, so it doesn't really make a difference, but that's it. That is one of your products now added. Now, then, what else we might want to do is want another attribute, want actual steak in there. And this one is going to be completely blank, right? Because we're not going to charge them any extra for cooking it a little bit longer. Um, we're just going to have all the various parts in there that we need. Okay, so that's for your products. Right, next is just a simple visit store. 